How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett, and welcome back to a brand new video, guys. So today, we're going to be bringing you guys a new video talking about rumors, news, and things that may have popped up. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a beverage, because we've got a long one here, but the boys, jeez, can't even speak anymore. Anyway, let's get started. So first things first, coming to us from uh, Eclipse, giving us the information that update BDSP. If you haven't noticed yet, in BDSP, all trainer teams... Uh, important and not present some differences in some cases the teams are the same as diamond and pearl in other cases the teams are the same as platinum few others uh, have new movesets not seen in past games so basically what he's trying to say is that in bdsp um we're not getting a diamond and pearl remake or a platinum remake we're getting a mishmash of both right we're getting a bit of a mixture of both those things into one big puddle that's more or less what's happening and this is kind of proven uh because in this like new switch case that's coming out uh it seems like they have the team for cynthia uh, again this is power a and i don't know if power a is a first party distributor of nintendo stuff i know that's the ones you find in all the stores all the controllers besides the official main like uh, pro controllers from Nintendo, but most of it is Power A. But apparently the uh, Switch case, it seems like the new Pokemon Center Switch case confirms Cynthia is using her Platinum team. So it's gonna be in the Pokemon Center. So yeah, I guess Power A are, you know, legit kind of like uh, Nintendo producer, whatever you wanna call them, like, of product. So either way, I don't really know what you guys think. I wanna know what you guys think about this because um, I don't know. I just wanna know like uh, what you guys' thoughts is on this. Uh, do you think that like, you know, we're gonna get like a mishmash of things or is the game gonna just focus on like one specific thing? Like, let me know in the comment section down below. Next up though, we got this right here. So, uh, Pokemon is testing the Japanese uh, website or domain of Pokemon Sleep. Yes, Pokemon Sleep is apparently getting some strange amount of uh, love actually at the moment and uh, things like are happening. Like, I don't know what's going on exactly with it, but um, it looks like, uh, you know, there, there's like something going on, like uh, something's happening with it. And also here you can see, I think Helio has talked about it as well check out his post about it but he more or less says two years after its announcement for a 2020 pokemon sleep release seems to be approaching uh, to be approaching the tests are being done on the japanese site of the pokemon company so yeah they're running tests on it right now um on the japanese domain uh, which means that they might be actually ready to show something of this game soon which again bro i don't know what pokemon sleep is we've been waiting for years we've been wondering what is this weird game that for some reason you know like I mean, it made me into a meme at one point as well, if you guys watched a 24-hour stream, but what's the deal with it? We don't really know. So we're gonna have to wait and see what the deal is with this. Uh, Pokemon Sleep, though, seems to be on the radar. Next up is this right here. So, um, a bit of a, like, theory by a Guzzle that one of the riddles we saw from the Chinese Riddler could be for Avalog and Bergmite. Uh, and here's what it is. So, the Warship, uh, which is one of the pictures we saw. Uh, we already have a Warship Pokemon. Not sure who this refers to. Dragapult related to said Warship. But then if you look at the actual details um, of, you know, Avalog and whatnot, it says its ice covered body is as hard as steel. Its uh, cumbersome frame crushes anything that stands in its way. And then the way several Bergmite huddle on its back makes it look like an aircraft carrier made of ice. Guess what? That's kind of what we got going on right here. So are we getting a brand new evolution for Avalog? Is that what's going on? We'll have to wait and see, right? That's more or less what we're waiting to see what's going to happen here. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we've seen Avalog or Bergmite in the trailers. I don't know. But we'll have to wait and see what the deal is with that, right? It's just going to wait and see how it turns out. But next up is this right here. So a piece of information, but apparently official Pokemon channel has scheduled a video for the 30th of October, which is in two days from when I'm posting this, named Pokemon Global Exhibition. Day one uh, is what it's called. There is a chance we can know some interesting stuff from that. So possibly we could get some information on the 30th of October, which is going to be a Saturday. So a bit of a weird day to get Pokemon news, but we'll have to wait and see, right? Because there's most likely going to be, you know, another Pokemon trailer on the way before like everything else is like done but either way next i think i know which baby pokemon ball guy leaks was referring to and what number three on the riddle is pointing to so talking about the riddles which we just talked about here let's talk about what this is so the riddle number three is two heart clouds in the sky right and i believe ball guy leaks said something about a baby pokemon remember an igly buff has been nowhere to be seen yet i just realized something peculiar though igly buff in its evolution are mentioned as balloon pokemon and yet they are not even flying types. However, it does not have flying type, despite being referred to as a balloon Pokemon. What it is, however, is a fairy type, a normal fairy type to be exact. Also, the cloud in the sky is a heart. A hearts are affiliated with love and good things, just like fairy type Pokemon. So that means whatever new regional variant that would be, uh, would have to be a fairy flying type, which is the perfect regional typing for Iglybuff's evolution, since it is the balloon Pokemon after all. Also, let us be honest, seeing a new evolution for uh, Jigglypuff would be sick, honestly. Uh, honestly, um, I 
And it would be funny to see Igglybuff and Jiggly, uh, Jigglypuff floating in the skies. And let us be honest here, the Jigglypuff line is not very uh, good competitively, so a regional form would be good for this Pokemon competitively. Also, Jigglypuff is pretty iconic, thanks to the anime, so his and Jigglypuff merch would likely print a ton of money, to be fair. Just a theory of mine, but current rumors going around. So yeah, at the end of the day, it's just speculation. So what do you guys think about that? I still think it's going to be Bonsley. We're going to get a new Sudowoodo. That's what I'm thinking. But who knows? We might get something else. And speaking of Ball Guy, uh, interestingly, uh, how the F did you... Uh, know this and he's referring to ball guy because we got this like new mask in uh, you know legends Arceus this like uh, You know is in Zoroark mask, but interestingly ball guy before that was even revealed before the mask was revealed in his post Actually said darkest superior's ghost, but also in the original post he made back on the 19th of October He had the mask in there. He had a mask going on. He got a kitsune mask in there and he knew that it was going to be what it well what it ended up being right so ball guy is legitimate by the way we more or less know that we know that ball guy is more or less a legitimate source at this point nothing too strange about him to be fairly honest so just keep that in mind either way let's continue here's what ball guy said this latest leak from ball guy is this pokemon leak legends some pokemon moves are designed to hit the trainer as well as during normal as well uh, wait, trainer as well during normal battles. So he's just saying there are some moves that are specifically made to hurt the trainer. Trainers can faint for, uh, for this more soon. And then he, people are a bit confused. Like, what do you mean? I mean, this is like something we all already know. I mean, Sir uh, Beastie Zone here said this is literally info uh, Ruffle already knows. Um, but he kind of clarified it saying specifically designed for this reason, like a secondary effect. These types of moves are for Legends games. So apparently he's saying that there are specific moves that they've made in this game, not counting just the fact that you can get injured by Pokemon, which we've already seen, but there are brand new moves, specific moves made to have a secondary effect, aka hurting you as the player, uh, which is quite interesting to say the least. Um, like, I don't know, like uh, some of the thing mentions here, I think it's like when Growlithe in the uh, trailer attacks the trainer with three columns of stones, you need to dodge it. If those were for Pokemon, it will only be one column in one specific uh, place. So what he's saying here is that there are brand new moves that will specifically affect uh, the trainer and have a different effect for the way when they do that, right? So they're specifically designed to hit the trainer as well during the battles uh, and trainers can faint from this. So basically there's going to be a brand new set of moves that work specifically in that manner, which I'm curious to see how that's going to actually work out and how that's going to be. And he states for Legends games, which is him implying that there's going to be more Legends games or that there might be more Legends games uh, in the future. And again, I believe Ball Guy leaks because um, so far, everything he said, uh, not counting the riddles which haven't been solved yet uh, or revealed yet, but everything so far that he's been saying has been real. He, he's not lied to us. He's been legitimate about his info. So I guess we're going to have to wait and see uh, because he said we're going to get a Sneasel split evolution. We're going to get ourselves, um, well, this and some of the stuff that I just can't off the top of my head remember right now. But besides that, let's continue on to the next thing, which is uh, actually about the same subject, which is about the weather effect will be more real than ever in Pokemon Legends Aussies. The character's clothing will freeze Cold, which is true if you look at it they actually you can see that the clothes here is the clothes are actually frozen here more or less uh and you can see it right here on the image uh the clothing is actually frozen on her so yeah weather effects are going to be a thing but also like we mentioned certain moves will hurt you differently but also they will hurt your pokemon in a different way so specifically design moves to hurt you as well which is going to be quite interesting to see how that's going to work out so we have to wait and see how that pans out when the game actually releases and next up is something interesting about eclipse uh duh, don't tell me the new switch is coming late 2022 with pokemon gen 9 because the new cartridges can't be used on the old switch models uh because people were like making these arguments with him um about it and also by the way he also posted about pokemon sleep saying please 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 but either way, um, this can't be hap uh, happening. Come on, it's saturate, uh, saturating already. Because somebody tried to make the argument here. Uh, so shout out to Alex uh, Cardinal, who was saying, I would have to picture Gen 9 coming in 2024 since Sword and Shield staying as competitive scene. Uh, and he says, it can't, be, it can't be happening. Come on, it's saturating already. What he's referring to here is that the competitive scene is already saturated and already the same thing over and over again currently with Sword and Shield. The Sword and Shield meta is pretty much poo-poo as far as I've... As far as I've like understood it right the meta is not the great greatest um it's kind of in this weird limbo and it's not too good right and also it's already been a long time the competitive meta needs to move on right like they're going to keep that competitive meta and even made, he made a point here i think uh as a second post he said like um you know sword and shield competitive won't like you know wouldn't like release until november 2022 and the pokemon world championship is in august 2022 so they can still do the championship with sword and shield next year and still have the game, the new gen release in 2022. And then from 2022, uh, November, going forward, they would have a new competitive scene with Generation 9. So I still think Generation 9 is coming out next year. It's still on my 
brain as the thing that's happening. Again, we'll have to wait and see if it actually pans out or what the deal is with that, but you know, it is what it is. And that's more or less it for that. And the final thing for today's video is this rumor on 4chan uh, saying that this game, we're going to be getting a uh, region based on Tohoku in Japan, uh, which um, I don't know if we have had a region based on this area in, in, in like, uh, you know, in Japan, which is like uh, not the most northern area, but like more of the, you know, I guess like... I don't really know how to put it, like the northeastern part of Japan, I guess, if you want to put it like that. Um, here's what he says, though. Uh, Pokemon Summer and Winter, released for released for late 2023, takes place in a region based off of Tohoku, Tohoku since uh, the virus prevents Game Freak from traveling overseas. Starters will be a Beetle, Grass Bug, Raccoon Dog, Fire, and a Newt for water typing. Cover Legendaries will be a Giant Bird, Fire Flying, and a Giant Tortoise, Tortoise, Ice Water, DLC expansion will reveal a Dragon Grass Dragon and a White Tiger Ghost Steel. I'll be honest, BS. I'm calling BS on this. Number one is because of the release date, uh, late 2023. I'm sorry, I don't know if that's going to be the case. Unless, again, things can always be delayed. That's not like, you know, that's not like impossible, right? But he's already saying a bunch of shit here. Like, he knows the DLC, which is ridiculous because DLC usually is not planned that far ahead of time. Um, they first need to finish the game, then they can talk about DLC. But sometimes they do, so you never know. But... He talks about, like, the starters, which make no sense. A raccoon dog, I'm not sure if a raccoon is on the um, the Chinese, like, you know, calendar thingy or the Chinese New Year thingy. Um, I don't think that's on there, so I don't think that would make sense as a starter. Um, a beetle seems a bit odd as well, and a newt does not seem very likely. Um, also, they usually, fire, like, follow, like, a specific thingy, but having, like, you know, one be grass bug and then the other two be pure types just seems a bit odd in this case because they haven't, I don't know if they've done that in a long time. I think they mostly now keep it to a singular typing, more or less. Uh, but I could be crazy about that. Or they just give all of them a secondary typing. But, again, I could be very wrong here. I could be totally wrong. I could be talking about nothing. Uh, because I just know that Gen 8 didn't have that. I think all of them were pure types, right? Fire, water, grass. They didn't have any secondary typings, as far as I know. Um, so, it would just be a bit odd. But, again, I could be wrong. Just, honestly, this just doesn't feel realistic. And also, Pokemon Summer and Winter does sound like decent names. It doesn't sound too impossible, but I feel like Pokemon, I don't know, like maybe a different name would work better. Pokemon Cold and Warm, I don't know, that doesn't sound good either. Uh, but nonetheless, I want to know what you guys think about this. What are your thoughts and opinions? Let me know because I do not know what to, what to think about this one. I think it's fake, personally. Uh, if you guys think differently, let me know in the comment section down below. But more or less, I think we've gone through everything that we had to cover. There's not really anything I feel like we've missed. Uh, I think we've gone through most of it. Actually, this is something I did want to cover as well, which I might as well do really quickly. But um, in the animations for Pokemon, like, uh, you know, the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, uh, when you look at the background behind Cyrus, um, it actually looks like purplish and whatnot. And if you compare that to um, the background when you battle him, you know, in um, Pokemon Platinum, it's kind of the same similar color. Whereas if it's Diamond and Pearl, it's not the same style. So basically trying to imply that, you know, like, this could be the Distortion World, confirming the Distortion World, which we don't really know just yet. We'll have to wait and see, because it could just be an aesthetic choice, because, you know, he is Team Galactic boss or whatever, so they make a unique background for him that fits him. So, we'll have to wait and see if that is the case, but, you know, it is what it is right now. But, for the most part, I think I've gone through everything. don't think we really missed anything, and that's going to be it for today's Lation Jumps. Uh, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Ruffle Rallet. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, then drop a like down below. Make sure to subscribe. And, again, thank you for the support recently, guys. The videos have been doing amazing. I've been trying not to, like, um, unless, like, it's a big news that I need to cover fast. I've been trying to take my time with these videos, stack up on a lot of information so I can make a big video for you guys instead of a bunch of small videos because, I don't know, I feel like it's just better if we just cover all this stuff in a singular one rather than making a, a million mini videos instead, which, uh, you know, just not that fun. Uh, having to do that over and over again. I mean, at some point, I will have to do it because I, I sometimes info comes out right after I posted my video and I'm not going to take it down and redo it because that's just hurts my channel. But yeah, more or less, I'm just going to try to make sure that I cover as much info in a single video as possible for you guys so you just have your nice little news chunk for the day and uh, info dump just to keep you entertained and happy and just informed on what's going on in the world of rumors, leaks, news, and whatnot. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Rolf I'll see you on the next time. Peace out. Bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.